What happens if you sell Legion to Cerberus in Mass Effect 2? That's what we'll be exploring in today's video. What's up everyone, Big Dan here. I have a bunch of different Mass Effect trilogy guides and lore videos on my channel, so if you're interested, consider subscribing. After the Reaper IFF mission, Miranda, Jacob, and Shepard will argue to determine the fate of Legion, the Geth unit Shepard encountered on the Reaper. Miranda wants Shepard to turn Legion over to Cerverus to recover the cash bounty. Jacob wants Shepard to space it, which isn't an actual option here. And depending on your choices, Shepard seems interested in activating and speaking with Legion, which will lead to it becoming a squad mate. Let's see what happens if we give Legion to Cerberus. Jacob, it's because of Eden Prime that I'm giving the Geth to Cerberus. Miranda's right, we need better weapons. I have to look at the big picture. Yes, sir. The immediate result is a cash bonus of 50,000 credits and 20 Renegade points. You'll also receive an email from the Elusive Man congratulating you for the decision. I'm extremely pleased with the intact Geth you retrieved. It's a fantastic study opportunity and will definitely help our efforts to develop technology to fight the Reapers. Accordingly, I've transferred a bounty to your account. Selling Legion obviously means losing him as a squad mate as well as missing the chance to complete his loyalty mission and decide the fate of the Geth heretics. There are even more dire consequences in Mass Effect 3. If Legion was sold to Cerberus, then it is impossible to peacefully resolve the conflict between the Corians and Geth on Rannoch. During Mass Effect 3, Legion will be replaced by another Geth character who basically plays the same role in the game. You will first discover the new Geth unit during the Dreadnought mission. Shepard Commander, help us. I remember you. You were on board the derelict Reaper where I found the IFF. Yes. I gave your body to Cerberus. We are a reconstruction of that now defunct intelligence. We were originally created to investigate the activities of the old machines. Old machines? You mean the Reapers? Yes. But this holographic reconstruction of Legion, or whatever the hell it is, doesn't have the same camaraderie with Shepard and Tally that Legion was able to develop with them. So when push comes to shove on Rannoch, there is no appeal to Tally and Shepard's morals. No, does this unit have a soul? Shepard, you can't choose the Geth over my people. Why not? Our fleet is massive. We can support Shepard's fight against the old machines. If the creators no longer threaten us, Instead, the Geth appeals to Shepard on the basis of the Geth being stronger than the Corians. You'll either need to destroy the Geth, or let the Corians get obliterated and watch Tally commit suicide. Achieving peace between the Geth and Corians is one of the best moments of the game, and if you sell Legion in Mass Effect 2, you will miss out on this. Aside from the feels, you'll also lose out on the single biggest boost to war assets that you can receive in Mass Effect 3. This can have ramifications on which endings will be available to you when you complete the main story. The final consequence that occurs if you sell Legion to Cerberus is that you will encounter it as an enemy later in the game. During the assault on Kronos Station, a Geth unit named Legion Assassin will attack you. This is similar to what happens to Jack if you skip the Grissom Academy mission in Mass Effect 3. There is no dialogue or anything addressing the confrontation with Legion, so you might miss it if you aren't paying close enough attention. It's a nice touch though, and I like that Bioware included this. So there you have it. What happens if you sell Legion to Cerberus in Mass Effect 2, including the consequences in Mass Effect 3? Obviously, this isn't worth it. You miss out on tons of great story content, including the Geth Corian piece in Mass Effect 3. But I still think it's cool that Bioware included this as an option, for players who want to roleplay as a more opportunistic and short-sighted Shepard. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Mass Effect and RPG videos. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. See ya!